Let's take some of the guesswork out of buying workout equipment on Amazon. This is the HP YGN resistance band set. You can find it on Amazon, like I did, for about $52.95 Canadian as of this video. And if you're like me and in need of some equipment to get you through however long this lockdown will last, you'll likely bump into it sooner or later. Before you do, this review should help you figure out if it's worth adding to your collection. This one is the 150 pound set, meaning the limit to the resistance is supposed to be 150 pounds, something I doubt strongly, but we'll get to that part eventually. In the box, you'll find two handles, five tube fitness bands, one door anchor, one portable bag, and two ankle straps. Some of these pieces, like the door anchor, gave me pause. They didn't look like the most sturdy pieces, and if you follow my Instagram, you'll know why that might worry me. I have a bit of a history with crappy door anchors. Regardless, the rest of it seemed well built, lots of metal parts, which is comforting and a good sign, and the tubing seemed strong enough. The attachment to the carabiner also seemed well thought out, as the ones I currently use have a bit of a design flaw that led to some injuries, frustration, and, well, this purchase, if I'm honest. My first concern beyond my distrust of the door anchor was the tension in the tubing. As I mentioned before, I was skeptical about the real resistance potential of the bands, and felt like there was a near 0% chance it was accurate to the numbers on the bands themselves. I tested them out with a luggage scale I have for this exact purpose. True to my suspicions, the resistance didn't match the numbers on the bands themselves. Even when stretched to the limits I could comfortably pull them to, which by the way was a lot more than most would ever do, they still fell short. A bit of a shame. That aside, the provided pieces not only held up well to the workouts I put them through, but they also let you do a lot of exercise variations which should make hitting every muscle group more than possible with a little creativity. It also does generate enough resistance to easily challenge any beginner and most intermediate to advanced lifters depending on the workout style. Powerlifters would be more than a bit screwed here. Overall, I'd say that these were actually a pretty solid purchase. They create a great foundation of equipment to get you started with some at-home workouts, and for many, this is all you'll need. Is it perfect? Not even close. Is it sturdy, adaptable, and functional? Very much so. Just don't put too much stock into the resistance it says it outputs, and you'll be alright. I'd give this purchase a solid B-. It's worth the price, and a good addition to your home workout equipment. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to join the galaxy. Have you purchased a set of resistance bands that impress you more than the ones in this video? Or maybe you've bought some that just flat out disappointed you and you'd like to let me know about it. Either way, throw a comment down below and let us know about it. I might even be able to pick them up for myself and review them in the future. Buying stuff online is such a hassle now. Between the fake reviews and the flood of garbage products masking all the good ones that are out there, it can be hard to find something that's worth the money. That's part of why I wanted to do this. So hopefully, one video at a time, I can help you guys find what you're looking for out there on the internet. As always, I'll leave my social media links as well as a link to my Patreon below. So be sure to check those out. And never forget, stay shining. Because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.